In this tutorial, I will show you how you can use regular expressions in c .net. Regular expressions are a very powerful techniques which is often used to uh, validate some sort of patterns in a data. Regular expressions are widely used in different languages. In c .net, regular expressions can be utilized to validate some sort of data whether this data is coming from a form data xml data or whenever you are dealing with some apis there are a lot of possibilities which you can avail while using regular expressions so how does these regular expressions works basically in regular expressions we have a pattern which is specified by the user so the pattern is evaluated by the regular expression class and afterwards if this pattern is satisfied in the given data the corresponding text is retrieved in the form of a string or integer depending upon the requirements so in order to utilize these regular expressions first of all you have to thorough knowledge of the regular expression classes for that you must import it use, uh, using the using keyword of .NET framework this is present in the system .text regular expressions and if you have to utilize it you just have to call the static methods of this regex class first of all we will create a simple pattern let's say I just want to fetch the month and afterwards the date from the given pattern or the text so what I have to do I will first specify the pattern so for that you have to write at the rate sign and after that since we are interested only in a month name so what I will do the month name can be in lower case or in upper case so I will write A to Z any character can be present from A to Z and capital character can be present and after that I will write slash D which means I should have some sort of uppercase or lowercase characters followed by a space then followed by any digit since I am interested in getting something like this if July 24 is present in a stream of text or some other text what will happen it will reject it but here such input will only detect a single character so in order to detect multiple characters what I have to do is I will use a plus sign and same will goes for the digit Now as you can see I have got this pattern which will detect a month name followed by the date. Now I will import some text which will be the independence.
Now my goal is to find the month and date inside this import text. So what I will do, I will use this regex class followed by the match method and I will input the corresponding text followed by the patron. Now if match comes out to be success then I will just show up the value which this patron has found in this text. So let's see. As you can see it has found July 24 inside this text. Perfect. Now let's extend this text further. Now if you if you see here we have two different months and dates this is July 24 and this is August 21 let's see what will happen it has only detected July 24 if you want to fetch couple of uh, months and dates from such text we have to use match collection so match collection will be like this it will collect all the corresponding matches and will store it in this collection object now in order to enumerate this collection we have to use for each and we can use this m dot value which will give us july 24 and august 21 So this is how this was a basic example which you can utilize to evaluate any type of expressions. Let's say we want to evaluate a phone number. So a phone number is for example in, in a format such as area code I will write it randomly followed by a hyphen and then followed by another full number I want that an import by the user should be strictly in their format by strictly I mean it should start with digits any number of digits followed by a hyphen then any number of digits and that's all I don't want it to be something called like followed by some text and followed by some numbers and hyphens were followed by some text I don't want it so how I can write regular expression for such phone number for this first of all I will write at the rate symbol then since I am interested in the digits so I will simply write any number of digits as I have shown it in a previous example then as I have said it should be followed by a hyphen then any number of digits that's all but let's see whether it will be working or not 
I will import uh, phone number then I will just write phone number is valid else no valid phone number let's see what happens it is saying phone number is valid perfect but let's give it following phone number currently it is also saying phone number is valid it is still valid because it is founding that this is starting with digits followed by a hyphen and then also st uh, some uh, number of digits but we but we want that this should only be a phone number not followed by some sort of text spaces or anything else so how we are going to achieve it for this there is another uh, you can say a regex parameter for expression uh, a parameter is not a suitable word but you can say a character which is placed before and after this uh, expression this is called this symbol and once this is used here you have to use a uh, dollar sign at the end so as you can see it is started by this symbol and ended by this dollar sign normally this is called cape so we can say it should start with a cape and end with a dollar sign I have this couple of uh, different these extra symbols here you can see here it should starts and ends so by starts and ends it means that the regular expression will strictly follow that it should start with digit followed by hyphen and it should end with some digits nothing else nothing more so let's see for this import what will happen as you can see this is not a valid phone number if I provide an extra space here it will still says no valid phone number also if I follow a single space after this phone number it will also say no valid phone number but if I only provide the phone number followed by this pattern strictly it will say this is a valid phone number this is the power of regular expression which you can utilize in your applications So in the next example, let's see how we can create a validation for an email address followed using such a technique. So as you can see, uh, an email address can be of any type. But for that example, let's say I want that my email address can contain alpha numeric characters which equals to one two three up to nine and a to c or a to c is followed here 
any alphanumeric character we can use backslash w so our string can be in the form of such as or or like if it it could be anything including this string or uh, sorry uh, numeric characters or alphanumeric characters or just alphabets etc it should be anything so for this let's say i want it to be alphanumeric and followed by it at the red sign and after that i want it strictly to be alphanumeric so for that i will also use the backslash w since uh, it can be also w23c.com or it can be also at gmail.com it can be also at yahoo.com or dot org or anything so as you can see this portion will be alphanumeric followed by a dot and after that it will be only alphabetical characters because the domains are dot org dot net dot com etc so for that i will write the following pattern so first of all alphanumeric characters and these are repeating after that it should be followed by hit the red sign and then also alphanumeric then dot and all the a to z characters but it should be strictly starting and ending with the following now So we can see we have a valid email address but let's say if a user put double at the red sign here so it will not be a valid email address also if a user put some numbers with a com it will not be a valid email address I will attach this document with this video. You can use different switches or you can say options with this regular expression. So just play around with this regular expression and hope so you have understood this concept. This is pretty straightforward and often at the first time it is confusing but with practicing some examples it becomes really easy for any queries please leave it in comment and i will catch you up there thank you